Hey, what's going on everyone? Nozu for you here, and Rank Sprint is in full spring, and I know a lot of you are very, very happy with this season of Rank Sprint. For those of you that have been living under a rock for the past week, Rank Sprint this season is 1v1, and I know when this was first announced, a lot of people were looking at this with a, with a little bit of confusion, I guess, and a little bit of antipathy, and... People didn't have high hopes for this game mode, because 1v1, right? You know, aircraft carriers are going to rule everything, and it's just going to be just pure nastiness. But that's not the case. People are enjoying it, and it's very fun. I have to admit, I'm enjoying it. It's pretty cool getting out there and just going mono e mono with another ship. And, you know, I'm impressed. I'm really impressed, and i got to give it to Wargaming. You know, with these rank sprint seasons, they're, they're not afraid to go outside of the box. They try things that are new, and this is definitely new. No one thought that 1v1 would work, but here we are, and this is probably one of the most fun rank sprint seasons that we've had. I mean, it takes 40 stars to get to rank 1, but that's not that bad because these matches don't last long at all. I mean, 5 minutes tops. You get in there, you go out there, and you just attack the enemy, and you either win or you lose, and you don't lose a star, you just keep going. So, pretty cool. So, well done to Wargaming. I, I think that you have a hit with this, and I love, I would love to see you build upon this. I mean, it happens so often where we get these fun game modes, and Wargaming puts them out there, World of Warships puts them out there, and we never see them again. They're just a drop in a bucket. I would like to see Wargaming build upon this ranked sprint season. I would like to see them take the feedback from this and move forward with it. Game modes are the one thing that I've said have been consistently missing from this game. Game modes are what keep this game fresh and keep it going. So just something to keep in mind, Wargaming. You've got a hit here. Build upon it. Don't let this season die and not let anything good come from it. Let us see more of this. Now that I've gotten hold through my ranked sprint spiel, let's talk about ranked sprint in general and battleship gameplay. And I, I've primarily been playing tier pits like everyone else. Well, not everyone else, but tier pits is very, very strong this season. And I think the big reason for that is the torpedoes. I mean, having a battleship is going to make you strong because of your hit pull. But when you have that ability to close in on an enemy and... Surprise! Here are my torps! I mean, there's little they can do about that unless they're very effective at counter gameplay. And that leads me into one of my points right now, and one of the biggest mistakes that I've seen in ranked sprint 1v1 battles, especially in battleships. Now, if you're a battleship player, please pay attention to this, especially if you're struggling or you're having a hard time. The biggest mistake that I'm seeing right now is players are letting the enemy get behind them. And what I mean by this is two battleships make a pass at each other and one battleship just keeps going, allowing me or whoever else to get behind them and just effectively chase them. Once that happens, you lose the high ground. It's like Star Wars. It's like Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin. I've got the high ground, Anakin. Don't try it. Well, when a ship's behind you chasing you, they have the high ground. And the reason for that is there's little you can do to avoid damage at that point. Yes, you're going to trade secondary shots. Yes, you're going to start fires. But to get out of his front where he has the majority of his guns, and unless you're in a battleship like a Tirpitz or a Bismarck where you've got four in the front, four in the back, you're lacking firepower on that rear side. And the worst part about it is if you want to try to avoid him, if you want to get him off your tail, inevitably, you're going to have to turn either left or you're going to have to turn right. And when you do that, you're going to expose your broadside and you're going to get wrecked and take a lot of damage. So please, battleship players out there, this is the biggest pro tip I can give you right now. Do not let enemy battleships get on your tail. Once that happens, it's not impossible to win, but your chances of winning drop significantly. I, I mean, I, I cannot emphasize enough. Don't let someone get behind you. It's tough to do. I, I know, you know, not everybody has the same skill level, but if you're a beginner out there, if you're just learning how to play, you know, it's better to turn into the enemy ship and 
maybe take damage up front than to allow them to get on your rear. Because once they're on your rear, it's over. Anyhow, I, I'm really enjoying this. I want to know your thoughts on 1v1 gameplay right now. Let me know what you think. I want to know if you're enjoying it, if you're not enjoying it, what your favorite ships are right now, what trends you're seeing, and any tips you can give the beginners out there, what you think they need to be doing to help their gameplay. Anyhow, guys, thanks for watching. Hope y'all are doing wonderful. Please subscribe if you have not done so already. And we've got a new year upon us. Let's look towards 2020. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Zoop out.